I'm Annalise Days and welcome to Close Show TV. Now today is all about the shopping with my £100 high street challenge. Let me explain how it works. Two strapping young men are going to have £100 to shop for a trendy outfit on these trendy streets of Carnaby and the surrounding area. Later on the outfits are going to be judged by stylist extraordinaire Kaylee Hewitt. The winner will get to keep their £100 outfit while the other will have to face the shame and return it right back to the shops. That's right, we're on a fast dash until there's no more cash. Let's meet our contestants. I don't like people that wear sandals and high socks. I shop sometimes at Natterjacks. I like to get my shoes from size and I don't mind throwing on some hype for you. My favourite shops are Zara, Levi and D&G. My fashion hate is when people wear jeans too low halfway down their bum. Now that we've met both of our contestants, let's tell them what they've got to do. Guys, you've got £100 to shop for an outfit. But before I tell you what that outfit is, I want to find out what your style is like. So, Michael, what do you usually dress like? To be fair, I throw on the medium and then I throw on the small. The medium normally <laughs> fits, the small fits a lot better. And what about your style, Francesco? Well, I like to go with a bit of a classic look usually, but I think the clothes have to fit well. I don't like the baggy look. I think it's terrible, personally. So, the outfit that you're going to be looking for today is for a first date. You've got £100 each. Let's do it. So, while the boys are off doing their shopping, I'm going to take to the streets and find out what you guys would wear on a first date. So what would you wear on a first date? Oh my god, um, maybe like a nice little blouse. It depends like how, what the date was. If it was cinema, maybe dress down. High-waisted skirt and a little crop top. And if it was a bit more smarter, then maybe something like this. I'd probably opt for something, you know, just a bit more laid back, a bit cool, a bit casual. Not try too hard, but throw something quite specific in there, like a key piece or something. A punch. So what would you wear on a first date? Um, I'd go for the classic little black, black dress and like accessorise with big chunky jewellery. Um, I'm a big fan of being like very understated but also like giving it a, big, a little bit of pop. Definitely I wouldn't show like any boob, not too much leg. Depends on the guy and where we are going. Are we going to a football game uh, in Finsbury Park or are we going out to a night in the musicals? Let's say dinner and a movie. Uh, nice turquoise dress with sequins. <laughs> sequins? Uh, onesie. Something comfortable, because um, I don't want anything to fall out or to fall over. <laughs> so it's something like I know, a pair of leggings and a nice tarp, some flattish kind of shoes, fully covered up. Is shopping something you like to take your time over then? I don't think you can rush with clothes. You've got to make sure they fit, try everything on, make sure it looks good. So that's it. The boys have their clothes and it's time for their outfits to be judged. I'm joined by our guest stylist, Kaylee Hewlett. How are you? Very well. Very excited to see what the guys are pulling out the bag. I know, men, right? Let's take a look at what the boys looked like before they went shopping. Just to warn you, it's a little bit like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, so here's we have Francesco. Yes. Okay, so he's kept it very classic. He's rocking a classic white tee with dark indigo, slightly slim leg jeans, and then he's finished off with a plain white pump. Played it very, very safe. So I'd be very interested to see if he's changed it up a little bit and, you know, pushed some boundaries and taken some risks. I'd quite like to see him do that. But if you flick through to Michael... Oh, we got another white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. We do indeed. Well, these lads obviously know what their comfort zone is. Um, and like I said before, I really hope that they push themselves out of that, you know, and that they've changed it up a little bit. But I can predict I'll probably see some denim. It'd be quite good to see something a bit different footwear, you know, something that's a bit more fun than just their classic white trainers and definitely something more interesting than a white t-shirt. They can do better than that. They can definitely do better, especially because the brief was what you'd wear on a first date. Let's check out our first boy. It's Michael. Ooh, very suave, very slick. I'm liking this look on you. Um, you spent a total of £88.96p, very, very good. Well, I think it's a really interesting look. You're kind of doing the double denim thing, 
but you're doing it in a more less obvious way. So the fabric of the shirt, it looks more like a cotton, but it's kind of a denim effect. And then you've got the jeans going on. Now, I love the little details. I've got to say, my favourite part of your look is the boots. Um, I think they're a great look. They're very trans-seasonal, autumn, winter, spring, summer, very key piece. I can see sort of the brown bronze buttons, you know, I'm quite fine to detail with the brown leather belt. It all works, it all sings in tune. And I love the little detail of rolling up the ankle on the jeans. Um, it just shows you the full effect of those amazing boots um, and well done. Thanks, Michael. Let's see our next boy. It's Francesco. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Definitely liking this look on you. It's quite simple yet very effective. The first thing that's screaming at me, what is it? The white T-shirt. Again, <laughs> um, you guys are obsessed with white T-shirts. But I like the way that you've accessorised it with the jacket. The jacket's pretty smart, so um, you're quite right in that it really smartens up the look. The lighter jeans are a more casual thing to do. Um, they are a skinny style. I, I noticed that before your look was with dark indigo denim jeans, so I like the fact that you've changed it up a bit. Well, thank you, Francesco. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you very much. So our boys then, we had Michael and Francesco. What did you think? I feel like they've changed it up a little bit, which is what I wanted to see. But just a little I bit. was a bit disappointed, I've got to say, in the white t-shirt. They both made an appearance with their white t-shirts again. But they did look different. They did, you know, you could see they put thought into it. So, Francesco and Michael, well done for completing my £100 high street challenge. You both look great. Lucky for me though, I do not have to pick a winner. That is all down to Kaylee. Thank you very much for giving me that lovely task. Well guys, you both did an amazing job. I have to say, and I was mentioning before, I am disappointed I saw the white tees making their appearance again, but you both did put in a little bit of effort and I could really see that you'd thought about what you were putting together. But I've got to say, Michael, congratulations, you're the winner. I think what you did with the shirt is really interesting. That's a styling little technique in itself. And I really think that you looked groomed. You looked ready for your first date. So Michael, that means that you get to take your outfit home. Unfortunately, Francesco, you're gonna have to do the walk of shame and return it back to the shops. So that's it from us at Close Show TV. Tune in next time for more showbiz, entertainment and gossip.